You hear that? That's the awkward silence of a family dinner after you just got caught vaping. Most vapes contain high levels of nicotine and disappointment. <sighs> Brought to you by The Real Cost and the FDA. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. And in today's episode, let me turn my TV down real quick because got my Xbox on and, you know, I don't want no, like, random sound effects going off. And then uh, it ruined the mood of this podcast episode. But anyways, no, I wanted to do this podcast episode. I guess, do you know, if, like, if you need that sign to ask a person out, uh, whether it's on a date or to be in a relationship with you, with whichever, whatever, you know, yeah, I feel like, uh, I, I need to motivate y'all and kind of give y'all some advice on that because, um, yeah, you know, it, it's a, it's a killer. It is honestly a mental killer when you're constantly sitting down and thinking like, okay, when's the right time? When's the perfect time? Should I do it right now? Should I do it tomorrow? Should I have done it yesterday? What would have happened if I had done it? Like you got all these things that you're thinking of rather than like, okay, let me just go for it see what happens, and so on and so be it and stuff. Because I feel like knowing is a lot better than guessing. You know, when you're constantly sitting down guessing and you don't really know, it's like, yeah, it's like, the honestly, it's, you just you just got to, like, hurry up and get it out your system and stuff. Otherwise, it's, you know, it's either going to be a situation where it's too late or it's just going to be a situation where it just mentally eats at you over and over. And then that's what your life is honestly going to be like. Like, honestly, I, I could think back to when I was a kid, you know, and I would do stuff like that where I'll be constantly, like, you know, sit down thinking, like, well, what if something goes wrong? What if this happened? What is this? You know, and I'm, I guess I'm just in a point in time in my life now where it's like I still kind of think like that at times. But then again, I'm like, you know, life is short and i'm like i mean you shouldn't really have like no mindset like that you know you should live life to the fullest but no at the end of the day life is short and you know you're the thing is is that you're gonna do so many embarrassing things in your life you're gonna do so many crazy things in your life like there's a lot of stuff that you're gonna do and you ain't gonna realize that you're you know until it you know you're actually doing it you ain't gonna realize that you know there's gonna be a lot of things that you're gonna be doing like there's so much to this world then sitting down and thinking like, okay, should I ask this person out? Like, what, what, where are they going to think of me and stuff? And I did make a video where I was talking on this and it was something, you know, it's like something that like eats at me, you know, time after time and stuff. Like if I like try to, you know, get romantically involved with the woman and stuff. And if I get rejected, it's like one of the main things that runs through my mind is one of the first things that's ever ran through my mind when I was like, when there was a rejection in life that really like, you know, it hurt and stuff. But, you know, it's because I'm black and I and it was a friend of mine because it was like, I think that friend realized it's like that's something that's, you know, I obviously still think of till this day. And, uh, you know, they reached out to me. They gave me some, uh, you know, words of encouragement overall uh you know just let me know it's like hey you know like overall saying like it, it's you know it's tough for your race and things like overall talking on the black race it's tough for your race but it's like always you know understand and know there's nothing wrong with your race like you know it's like overall like just let me know like i'm appreciated she overall was like let me know that i was uh appreciating stuff and um yeah it's like it's stuff like that i just think that it's so refreshing like you need to hear that it's like you know it's like when a person's like dehydrated and they need water i feel like from time to time people need those words of encouragement to like let them know like hey it's chill it's fine like you know if that person sees you like uh, the outside of you before they actually see who you are as a person then you know then it's like they, it's a it's a problem you know and i think that it's a lot of times see here's the thing because i do personally think that a person it's like if there are things in your life that you want to change i mean if you honestly want to see if a person is going to be with you like take you for who you are at that moment it's like if that person it's like at the that's what i'm saying it's like you know you just gotta ask and overall no but 
Oh, like, just sit down, I guess, like, overthinking the situation and thinking, like, something's wrong with you. It's like, fam, there ain't not one thing wrong with you. Whether you're an oversized person, you're too dark, you're too white, you are too brown, like, whatever it is. It's like, fam, there's absolutely nothing. And it was funny because, like, the um, friend, they were telling me the same thing, uh, that they dealt with the same thing growing up, like, the, what I dealt with. It was, like, you know, a whole race thing. And they thought it was because, like, they're, you know, um, I'm not going to say exactly, like, who and what their race is, but there is a, you know, like, a, a difference between, like, their races. Like, there's, like, different skin tones within their race and stuff. And, um, yeah, they were overall saying how, like, things like that would get to them. Um, I don't know if it still does, but they were telling me that. And I'm like, fam, you know, like, I be thinking the same thing. It's like, you know, would this have happened if I was light-skinned? Like, if I was light-skinned, had curly hair, had, like, a full beard or something. But it, it's just, that's, it, it's, you know, dumb stuff. But I'm saying, it's like, at the end of the day, it's like, I can't help it. If this is my skin tone, this is my skin tone. I'm like, I wouldn't, honestly, at the end of the day, and that's just, it, it takes, like, you know, it doesn't even really take years of accepting. It's like, you've already accepted who you are day one of being born into this world. Because it's like, when you sit down and think about it, it's like, you know, kind of, like, I guess, like, to kind of just, like, you know, like I said, this is the advice part of this episode, but... You know, when you're a young, young kid, like, you know, when you're, like, preschool, like, you're, like, pretty much, like, an, 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 an infant and stuff. But, like, even back then, like, you're, you're accepting yourself. You're not, like, and that's the thing where it's, like, I think a lot of people just need to really have that, like, that that look, that outlook on life where it's, like, look at yourself like how you did when you were in preschool. It's, like, you didn't look at yourself. You didn't look at your skin tone. You didn't look at your, you know, and there are probably some people that were. But here's the thing. It's, like, there was at a point in time in your life where stuff like that did not matter to you. It didn't matter to you until people had put it in your head that it's supposed to matter. Oh, you're too dark. You're too light. You're too this. You're too that. And it's, like, fam... It's those, and the thing is, is like, I guess to like sit down and roast those people and stuff, you're going to look at them and they're never going to have a successful relationship. Like if they, if they're looking at a person's skin tone and they literally can't help it. Like for an example, let's say if it's a person that's just far too black, like they're like, they're, they're like shadow, not even like shadow black. Like they're, they're like a new age black but, like, I'm just, you know, I'm cracking jokes, like, that stuff. But I'm saying, like, you know, let's say if they are, like, a darker skin complexion, right? They ain't got no control over that whatsoever. So it's like, why should, like, something like that be the first thing that you see? Like, if that's the case, you shouldn't be talking to them. Like, but don't give them, like, I guess, you know, and that, that's, I guess, somewhere it's like, it, it would be, like, disrespectful to just tell somebody that, like, straight from jump, like, oh, no, don't think, like, we're gonna romantically get involved because I don't date people of your skin complexion, so that's just some flat-out racist stuff. I've talked on that before, and I ain't gonna have no argument about that, all right, so, but anyways, um, but no, like, it's, it's things like that where it's just, you know, people shouldn't look at it, but, you know, people are gonna have their, you know, preference, it may not be right, but, you know, yeah, people are going to have their preference and things. But it is something where it's like, you know, you sit down and think it's like, can an individual help another individual with their skin tone? To answer that question, no. Whatever your skin tone is, accept that, okay? It's like, there, you know, yeah, you could change your skin tone, but it's like, why go, why push yourself through that trouble, for somebody and it's like they can't even accept you for who you are and stuff it's like if it's something that you want to do like i, I and that's the thing where it's like a lot of the things going on in the world today where it has something to do with a person's body it's always influenced by other people like if it's something where you sat down and like for an example let's say if you're you know a larger person right like you got some weight about yourself and if it's something where you looked at others, like, without, you know, anybody telling you, anybody, like, you looked at others and you were like, hey, I want to be able to, you know, jog and run and do all these different things. I don't want it to be where people, you know, I got to depend on them to help me, you know, go up some stairs or cross the sidewalk or do this or do that. Like, it's something that you wanted to do for yourself. Then it's like, that's the perfect time to do things. But if it's going to be a situation where, you know, you got people in your 
ear telling you, oh, you need to lose weight. You need to do this. You need to do that. It's like, no, that's when you got to show a person that, and I feel like a part of them doesn't really accept who they are. That's why they're telling you because they're all like, oh, well, I don't want them to be in the same mindset as me. So like, because they don't fully accept who they are as a person so that they want to like push that on on others. And it's like, fam, I don't have a problem being myself. You know, if I'm going to change who I am, I'm going to do that for me. I ain't going to do that for you. So, like, I think that's why, you know, if that's what's running through your mind with a person where it's like they're not going to accept you for you, it's like you shouldn't be talking to that person anyways. If there's if they're telling you stuff like like so let's say for an example me right where it's like let's say if it's some dumb stuff where it's like oh, i'm really in the shoes and she tells me she's all like oh i don't like guys that are in the shoes he shouldn't care so much about jordans he shouldn't care so much about bread 11s i would be like hold up time out wait a moment how dare you disrespect the all-time greatest Jordans of all time. I'll walk away. I honestly would walk away. If she's saying some stuff like, no, if you want to get into a relationship with me, you got to get rid of all your shoes. I'm like, okay, well, first off, that just doesn't even make any sense. So I'm just supposed to just go outside and my Adidas socks or my Dick Sporting Goods store socks or my uh, Nike. Do I have any Nike socks? No, I don't have no Nike socks. I just been wearing no, cause uh, Dick Sporting Goods store. They actually had no. They had a deal going on a while ago with these black socks, and it was like you get like a six pack for like three dollars and things. And so I was like, no, nah. I was like, I, I got. I remember I got me a crap ton of uh um these black socks. So, but what what am I talking about? But anyways, <laughs> I ain't got distracted. But no, it's like some stuff like that where it's like you know it, it's just some dumb preferences where it's like oh I wouldn't like no because there was one of my friends um she's an uh, she's a streamer and she was um like saying I guess somebody had told her that and I was like I've been um was gonna message her about it I think I did message some along the lines you know just sending her some like words of encouragement but. I did see that video, and I was like, that's something where I'm like, that that's just flat out stupid, where, like, you won't be with a person because they play video games. Like, I, I don't understand the whole concept of that, where it's like, you can't be with a person because they found something to relax them. Like, I don't, I don't get that because I'm like, there's people out in this world that will go swimming because it relaxes them. There is people in this world that will cook food because it relaxes them there's people out there that will listen to music or watch movies or or you know work on a garden or work on a car or you know exercise like there's all these different things but go out and play sports but there's all these different things that a person will go out of their way to do because it relaxes them it relaxes their soul it relaxes their mind yes they may rage and yell when playing video games but they are in a zone when playing video games if you are looking at me and you're like oh i'll never be with you because you play video games for a living like if somebody were to tell me that i'm like fam why i hope you don't think we're friends <laughs> like honestly if like if that's your mindset it's like i here's the thing because i know people will probably sit down and ask me like oh well i'm pretty sure that there's something that you wouldn't want a girl to do right i had to say the only thing that i would want that it, and it's like because it's something where i'm like i haven't fully accepted myself into you know because yeah everybody out in this world they got a preference but i feel like that this is a respectful pre like preference right i in my opinion you will not even in my opinion in my preference i'll never date a porn star never I'm all like, you might as well just go out and just cheat on me. Like, because that's how I see it. I'm like, I don't want you to do that. And then you come home and then you know like that. And it's stuff like that where I know people will be all like, oh, well, what's the difference between that and video games? You're not breaking the bond of a re i'm trying to have a relationship a one-on-one -on -one relationship you can't i feel like that there would be people in this world they were really trying to argue with that and saying what's the difference between a porn star and me playing video games my parents got me okay so you know what no here here hear me on this my parents got me into video games that's normal okay you can have that conversation with people you you can tell how do you think if it had been the other job profession how how do you think that would sound to most people 
Because I, I can already, I honestly, I should put that as a, like a social experiment where it's like I'm just out and about, you know, just like talking like, oh yeah, it's like, you know, it's like, oh, who got you into video games and stuff? Like, oh, it's like who, like it was a French mine from school. Like, how about you? Who got you into video games? And it's like, oh yeah, it's like, you know, uh, my parents got me into it. And then like, you know, it's like then talking on some other, like, you know, the other job profession and stuff. And they're like, oh, like, how did you find, oh, my parents. Do you understand how weird that sounds? I know people will probably try to argue like, oh, it's not. No, that there ain't no comparison. OK, at the end of the day, I think I yes, I will 100 percent date a woman that plays video games. Then, you know, doing doing that, the the other stuff, because I'm like, yeah, the other stuff, it's like, fam, they ain't in a relationship. Like, it's an open relationship. Like, I feel like, yeah, if you're in the open relationships and all that stuff, then that's on you. Me, I want an exclusive one on one private no outsiders literally me and her that's a relationship that's at the end of the day what we're all craving you know with like listening to this episode and stuff so anyways yeah but it's it's stuff like that where it's like you know it's it's just it's crazy i like how this episode ain't really about what the original topic was like you know i honestly i i, I think this should just be titled like a relationship advice because what was i overall talking about it's like, oh yeah, it's like, or, or like, no, it's okay to ask that person out or something like that. But I'm like, I just honestly got distracted. But I think I'm going to try to like, you know, like add, because yeah, it's like I ain't got to the 15 minute mark. And I'm like, what was I talking about again? But anyways, um, but yeah, it's like, you know, the whole preference thing. You know, I've talked on that, said what I need to say about that. It's like, it's okay if it's a logical and a preference that makes sense. But if it's a preference that, you know, it doesn't make sense or a person ain't got no control over it, then it's like, fam, you know, it, it's people like that where it's like, you know, they're not going to have successful relationships. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. I'm like, I've, I've said it before. And I'm going to say it again. It's like, you're not, if you're going to have a preference, you ain't going to have a successful relationship. I'm sorry, but anyways um but yeah overall like you know what are some other things i guess like on it um advice like giving out advice now it's like to uh you know like how do you go about asking out a person it's like like i said it, it's like it's honestly like um you know throwing a punch in a fight like you just you just gotta throw it because if you just if you spend like the whole fight like defending and you don't like you don't throw no punches you don't do nothing you don't like you're gonna be taking in like a lot i feel like to compare that to like asking now somebody it's like you're gonna take so many different hits and that's you know and i feel like comparing that to a relationship where it's like you're gonna have like so many opportunities you know where it's and it's like that's like comparing it to boxing where it's like you know you're gonna have so many opportunities to hit this person and throw that knockout punch but if you just spending the whole time defending and you ain't throwing your punches, you ain't throwing out your opportunities, eventually, you know, and I feel like in this case where it's like, you know, in a boxing case, yeah, the boxer's always going to throw that punch, knock you out. Comparing that to a relationship, you're going to look up one day and she going to post a photo or he going to post a photo with somebody and they're going to be in a relationship. And then you're going to be like, hey, yo, wait a minute, what? And you're going to be mad confused and you're going to be like, I, I thought I had to. And that's the thing where it's like, you know, you can't really waste no time on it. It's like you got to like, I feel like that, you know, honestly, it's like, yeah, try to get to know the person, you know, be cool with them. But like overall, like at some point in time, like let them know, like, and I guess like when you start having those feelings for that person and stuff, then, you know, let them know. But it's like if y'all been friends for years and then, you know, y'all really haven't like talked on relationships and and all that stuff then yeah because i like i try telling people that and I, I at times i just feel like that you know i'll tell people things and they're either like scared or they just you know oh that's t moss boss i don't need to listen to t moss boss and i'm like fam i feel like i give out perfectly good advice that ain't even me like over you know like trying to overhype myself no i feel like i give solid advice all right there have been times, okay, where people have approached me about relationship stuff, right? And I'm like, fam, I will, I'll never forget where I remember it was these high school kids. And I kept telling this guy, and I'm like, bro, you gotta freaking ask this girl out, man. It, it's like, it's things where it was like, it was, it's because... 
here's the thing. I know stuff like this shouldn't annoy me, and I know I shouldn't really come out and say that stuff like that annoys me, but it does. I'm like, if you, if that's like the one like thing about where it's like, I'm a very, if people know me, people know that I'm a very impatient person, but it's funny, like, it, it's like, I, I'm the same way though, where it's like, I kind of like, you know, I, I, I second guess this, I'm overthinking, I'm this, I'm that, but if I had somebody in my ear telling me, this is your time. This is your opportunity. Go ask that person out. Like, go for it. Go. Like, pushing me to go do it. It's like, fam, I feel like under all that pressure and then getting that adrenaline rush, like, if you have somebody in your ear, and I try to be that person where it's like, I try to be in that person's ear and that, let them know, like, hey, this is only good is going to come out of it. Okay, only good is going to come out of it. But if you get rejected, the thing is, like, you can't look at it as a bad thing. Yes, it's going to hurt, but you still can't look at it as a bad thing. You just got to be like, okay, you know what? Then that was, it was, it was never meant to happen. All right, it was never meant to happen. And you just got to move on. All right, that's the thing where it's like, don't sit and feel bad for yourself or feel sorry or any of that. Like, no, you just got to keep it going. That's the, that's honestly the best thing. And it's like, once again, you know, comparing it to boxing, it's like, imagine do you think boxers where when they would take their first loss like and let's say like they only fought like you know two three times right and let's say like that one loss they just retire they're like nope can't box no more i'm like i i ain't lost and i'm like honestly would that make any sense there's boxers out there that's then been like they don't even have an undefeated streak they just have a defeated streak like they don't went like no there i think there was a boxer out there where it's like that dude was like he, he had more uh, loss than wins. And I'm like, fam, I, you know, in that case, I would recommend <laughs> retiring. But anyways, um, but no, I'm saying it's like, fam, you just got to take your L's and go about life. You know, like, because me, if I was sitting down still feeling bad about some stuff that happened to me, like, let's say all the way back in elementary. Like, honestly, really, bro, you still holding on to some stuff that happened back then. I guess, like, you know, in some cases, in some, or, you know, with people, they do. Like, stuff like that, it haunts them. It traumatizes them. They think about that stuff, and then, like, you know, and it's, but the thing is, like, at some point in time, God closed the door on those things. You know, I'm not just telling you that just to say that and stuff, and then you guys just listen, and you don't take that, that advice in. No, take that advice in. You got to close the door on things. Because if you keep holding on to stuff, stuff is going to keep holding on to you, and you're never going to pro like progress in life. I don't think people actually fully understand and hear that. Rewind this part if you need to. But you are never, ever going to um, progress in life if you still hold on to things. Because that stuff is going to hold on to you. Because you think about it. Sit down and think about it. You're fighting, right? You're fighting with something. Now, you're trying to pull yourself away from this fight, but you still, like, holding on to that, you know, whatever, whoever you fighting. How are you gonna, How are you going to move away from that fight if you still hold on? How you gonna move like how you gonna move on? How you gonna So I'm saying it's like there's things in this life in in your life that you gotta let go of, close the door on it, move on, keep going forward in life. Cause if you honestly, if you like if you don't, like I said, it's like you never you are never going to progress in life. People think, oh, it's like I've you know, it's no, I ain't even hearing nothing. My thing is this. If you done sat down, took the time, I your day on whatever day this podcast episode comes out to listen to this podcast, you done made it to the um to the twenty two minute and twenty two second mark of this podcast. You are sitting down and listening to what I'm saying, and you are actively thinking, "Oh, he's wrong. He's I am right." Okay, I am right. You are not sitting down, taking the time to listen to this. If that's the case, then stop listening to this podcast episode. Don't listen to anything that I have to say from this day forward. Don't hear me out on nothing. But if you're going to listen to me on what I have to say now, if you're made it to this part of the podcast, hear me out. Okay, ask that person now. If they turn you down, move on. OK, and if the next person and it's just going to be that same thing over and over and over again until you find somebody that says yes. And when you find somebody that says yes, hold on to that relationship. OK, hold on to it for as long as you possibly can. OK, but if the relationship ain't good for you, just like how it is if somebody rejects you, move on. OK. So anyways, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and listening.
If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast sharing service, make sure you follow or subscribe however it's set up. Make sure you subscribe to one of my 43 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram at TMOSBoss. Make sure you follow my Facebook page at TMOSBoss Fan Page. Also, if you're purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBoss. It will knock $20 off your first purchase. And in that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening, and peace.